Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Father Steve Connor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Ocean City, New Jersey, and this is Wiley, and today is Wednesdays with Wiley. And so we gather together on this beautifully clear and frigid winter day to remind ourselves of God's presence in our lives, our God who accompanies us, who calls us by name. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. An adaptation of Psalm 34. When I searched for love, the beloved answered within my heart, and all my fears flew away. Look to the beloved, and your emptiness will be filled. Your face will radiate love. For when you weep, the beloved hears and comes to companion you. Your burdens are eased by love. This is a book by Nan Merrill. It's called uh, Psalms for Praying, an Invitation to Wholeness. And what I like about it is it kind of reimagines the Psalms in perhaps more contemporary language. But what I loved about that Psalm is about how God comes to us when we cry. God is love, the beloved. And so God comes to us now. Wiley and I have been having lots of conversations lately because, well, he and I are the only one at home right now. And so uh, Wiley usually is very attentive, very much my companion. In, uh, in fact, sometimes it's just too much. The other day, he kept barking at me. I didn't know why or what he wanted. He couldn't tell me got to the point where even when I went to take a shower, he was sitting outside of the shower waiting for me. Now, initially, this was kind of annoying because I obviously didn't know what he wanted, but he was there. And then as things progressed and came, we came downstairs, I realized all he wanted was attention. He wanted me to play with him to throw his tiger or to throw his monkey or for him to chew his bone while I sat in the room with him reading. And so he became, with me, we became these companions. Right, Wiley? Wiley, are you going to look at me? Okay, good boy. And I think somehow, in some ways, Jesus is like that. Jesus comes to us. Jesus is our companion through all of life's ups and downs. Jesus is beside us. Jesus, Jesus is encouraging us. Jesus is supporting us. Jesus is with us. Another poet that I really like is John O'Donohue, and he's written a book called To Bless the Space Between Us, A Book of Blessings. And at the end of the book, he has a poem entitled, The Eyes of Jesus. I imagine the eyes of Jesus were harvest brown, the light of the gazing suffused with the seasons, the shadow of winter, the mind of spring, the blues of summer, and amber of August, August of harvest. A gaze that is perfect, sister to the kindness that dwells in his beautiful hands. The eyes of Jesus gaze on us, stirring in the heart's clay the confidence of seasons that never lose their way to the harvest. I wish for you today a, a day full of wonderful adventures and know that Jesus accompanies you is beside you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and loving God, we know that your eyes gaze upon us all the time. And that gaze is a loving gaze, a gaze full of mercy and forgiveness. For you have created us and called us each 
your beloved. May we rest assured of your gaze, of your companionship, and of your love. And we ask this through our God who lives and reigns with us forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless us this day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Stay warm.